all day. Money, power, respect. Three the hard way. What up, world? Welcome back to Three the Hard Way TV, the quarantine edition. We got some special guests today. We got the beautiful uh, Cherry Berry, and we, we, we got we got a special guest, a very very special guest, my son's mother, Octavia. How you doing? What's up? Welcome. Welcome to the show, Terry and Octavia. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. So we got we got my boys again. We got Ken. We got Real. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing this evening? How y'all doing? It's 106 degrees where I'm at, so I'm hot. <laughs> he, he always got to show out with this weather, man. Ain't nobody ask you all that. Hot, man. Hot. Shit, I don't want to see no hot just yet. These niggas don't act cool as God, though. You already know they is. Okay. So on today's show, we got a very interesting topic and I, that I think we all can relate to because we all are parents. We all are parents. I, my, my question to everyone is, is that can you, after having a child, with someone maintain a healthy friendship and what oh. can you do to keep things from going sour and have that uh bitterness between two parents that's a great subject that's a great topic is that a question <laughs> is that a, is that a is that a friendship on top of co-parent or a friendship inside of co-parent Either way, you want to twist it. Okay. Okay, can I go first? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ladies I always first. Huh? <laughs> well, I have teenagers, and me and my kid's father, we really don't, we don't get along at all. At all. We not friends. I don't want to be friends. Because my kids are old enough to talk to me. They 16 and 15. Why should I have to go through the others with them? So, so, so who, you know, we know what the answer gonna be, but who fault or who, who's to blame for y'all not seeing eye to eye? Both. Huh? It ain't nobody to blame. It's both of them. It's both of us. It ain't nobody to blame. It's both of us. So uh, my question, my, my, my new question to you now is, can you, can you fix it? Me? I have tried several times. It's just, it's him. You you we passing the blame. You passing the blame. I'm not passing the blame. I'm a I'm a bigger person. I'm a woman by all means, and I, I done tried several times to like reconcile, like how can you say re, uh, reconcile with the other parent. It's no hatred, no love lost. I got love for him because he's my kid's father. Okay. Okay. Miss Miss Octavia. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know my answer to that is of course you can. Okay. Period. Okay. If there ain't no romantic feelings there. Ain't no need to have no harsh feelings or no grudges or anything like that. Because don't nothing matter but the kid. Period. True. Thank you. That's so ain't no reason for me to hate you. It ain't about me and it ain't about you. It's about my baby. And him being happy and him saying both parents get along is all that matters. Now, if I got feelings for you, then that's when all the other rah rah stuff come in. But if we cool, simple, it's easy. I know how to kill the ego, and that's what most people need to do. Damn. Okay. All right. I, right. I like Damn. Damn. I might, I might have to mute her. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what they do? Hey, what they do? Love, what they doing, love, what they doing, love, Jones? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. We gonna, we gonna go right to you, Ken. Well, me, me personally, I think you can 
I was trying to practice that because, you know, I just wanted to co-parent, you know, I no longer have feelings in that sexual way for my son's mom. But it's just sometimes we do good, we get along, then other times it's just so, so toxic, you know. So I don't know if she moved on, she got a boyfriend, but she always attacking me and wonder what I'm doing with my money and other females. So I don't know. But in my eyes and everybody else's eyes, I'm gonna go find them. Just, I don't know. What do you think you could do to fix it? I know what I can do to fix it, but I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. She she be wanting more money, and I'm not about to do that. Everything ain't all the way about money. She her it is ain't. Why you mute it. I'll mute you, Ken. Yeah. Everything not always about money. Of course it isn't. Y'all need to sit and come to agreement. You and your baby daddy do too. <laughs> oh, we have recently. I'm not going to sit here or lay here and lie and say we haven't. When it came to mutual, we always come to agreements when it comes to the boy. All of us. Okay. Go. Not, I'm not going to lie about that. We just can't get along as, as a person. Uh, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like, can y'all can y'all see y'all self being friendly? Like, okay, just say your boys got a basketball game, a football game, a soccer game. Can y'all sit next to each other in the stands and cheer those boys on as they doing their well, thing? He, okay. Well, children, father, he's men. That's not what I asked you. Can y'all sit next to each other and cheer for them yeah, boys? We have. I'm not gonna lie here. We have before. That we have. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, my brother. Hey, Ken, Real. Hold on. Hey, Ken. So, who would you say that's stopping from the friendship? Like, is it her? Is it you? Or you just done with it? Like, you just over it? Who? Say that again. Who? Who? What? Between you, between you and your child's mother, are you thinking that she more so stopping y'all from being friends, or is it you? Or are you just kind of done with it? Like, you tried it and you just like it is what it is. Now. I think it's 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 hot, like cause like. You know, I'm just done with it. Like, when she asks me to do something, I try to do it. Like, she come get them from not working, I'm coming to get them. She say, do this, mm -hmm. I'm doing it. She be like, she need more money, I'm going to try to make it happen. But I feel like it's, I feel like she nitpick. You know what I'm saying? Like, she asks for things that she really don't need. That's the thing. You know, because they not gonna, because, because they're not going to patch on my, my chat. On child support, so uh, the little the little stuff she be needing on the side, I do. I just I just feel like she just acts and do it to see. Um, Cause she a call like, I need this, and I'd be like, all right. She like, oh okay, I thought she was gonna say no. All right, we good and hang up. Oh, like, oh that's that's petty. She being real petty. She picking. Well, I tell you what. I say, how old is she? She 34. I'm 35. Oh, wow. Them games, y'all shouldn't even be playing. <laughs> right. So, so real, my brother, you want me to go first? Yeah, you go first. Okay, me, me personally, I know that, you know, it's some things, especially the age I am now, um, you know, like you, you, walk around you consider yourself an adult and you know you have misunderstandings with people and instead of addressing the misunderstanding you kind of like uh you know play with your own self in your head and make it seem like something is more than what it really is so you know i had to come to those conclusions where i thought that you know shit that was a problem really wasn't a problem and it was affecting not me because I'm growing and my life going on, but it's affecting the child, you know. So it's like I can't harbor no, you know, shit that's pretty much made up in my mind where me and the the mother of my child could have had a conversation and just sorted the shit out 
it made it real smooth and simple. But then, you know, I, I don't want to be an asshole and then my son don't see me for two years or, you know, you know, certain things like that. So I've, I've had that type of problem and I realized like that type of shit wrong. Motherfuckers need to get along because at the end of the day, if you know, like we not together, there's no romance. It's, we still family in a sense, you know what I'm saying? Because if yeah. something happened to him, if when he gets older and he has children or his wife is having children, we probably both going to be in the hospital. You know what I'm saying? If he on stage accepting an award, I want him to see us both and the, the Raptors. That's my motherfucking boy. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I, to show your children that love, you got to put aside those differences because most of the time it should be petty. Yeah. Because it's 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 all about the love of the child and, and that's what be wrong with a lot of children. They don't see, they grow up without love. So that's why they be out here just being fuck ups. So you said a lot of the children grow, up, grow without love. So that's kind of why they grow up and be messed up. Maybe it's still deeper. Maybe the person that you got the kid with grow up without love too. So once that relationship sour, you know what I'm saying? They don't know nothing else. That's true. That's true. You know, I just was saying the other day that uh, as as a black man, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. we, if we three black men on here, uh, you know, your father was around because I, I remember that when we was younger, but mm -hmm. we didn't have like that everyday father figure type. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, it wasn't no I graduated, and my, my daddy went there. I did yeah. plays and award shows. I never saw this nigga. What was no, that? And, and that's what we that's what we saying. We, yeah. we can't hear you. Y'all can't hear me? You got to talk loud. I said, my father went there. My mama and my grandma have always been in my corner and always been in everything. Graduation, luncheon, any and everything I have did and pursued in my life, my mother and grandma have yeah. always been there, not my dad. Right. But I'm still going to love him because I'm his daughter. And I'm still going to be there for him. Like, just for example, my father having hard times and struggles now. Guess who that's for? Me. Right now, to this day, me. I don't know if I can be that strong. Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't know if I can be that. And that's why I'm saying I want to correct my mistakes because I want a motherfucker to help me because my father wasn't there. I, if something happened to him now, I'm not going to be the first motherfucker to run up there and rush to the hospital and make sure he's all right. And, and, I'm not, and I'm not saying that out of no ill will in my heart, but it's like I just don't know the man. Well, yeah. I'm the yeah. oldest out of eight of us. It's eight of us, so I'm the oldest. So I have to be there. Who else gonna be there? His wife? <laughs> or his other kids? <laughs> or his other kids? The fuck they care? They give him the shit. <laughs> <laughs> go, go ahead, real. A a answer the question, brother. All right. So from my professional psychological view, we come from that point first. So I think it's two reasons why people can't do it. Sometimes it's the other mate that they with. So you know what I'm saying? Somebody get with somebody, other person be a lot of times jealous, so they try to prevent you from having that cool relationship with uh with the uh with the other parent. A lot of times it's 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 some dudes, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times it's a dude that's thinking it's more than what it is, and he don't want you to be friends with your baby's father or something like that. And then sometimes, yeah, sometimes there's some petty women, you know what I'm saying, that be like that too. And then my my number one reason why I really think it, I think is because people jump in relationships without ever developing a friendship, right? So people jump right into relationships, sex, all that stuff, have a kid, and then they stop being together. And you can't be you trying to develop a friendship with somebody you don't know, like just because you laid, sex that you don't outside, know outside, outside of sex, sex right? Because you didn't you didn't know them, you didn't take the time to develop a friendship. So 
once you stop being with them outside of sex and that little relationship you thought you had, you technically don't know this person. So if you never develop that friendship, now you're trying to develop a friendship after the fact. It's 10 times harder to do that because you you trying to build something based off what you knew when y'all was together. So all that negative energy you knew then, you don't see the real person she is. You just see what you thought you knew. And that would be a big issue with it. Like a lot of people just jump right into, oh, we in a relationship. You really don't even know these people. You know what I'm saying? Like I tell people all the time, like I say, like my daughter, I always tell my daughter, you don't really, my daughter 10, I tell her, you don't know me. And she say, yes, I do. But technically you don't. You don't know the life of me before you. You know what I'm saying? You know 10 years of me. For the first 8, 10 years of your life, your parents raised you. You wasn't who you was. Same thing. You meet a guy today, jump in bed with him, have kids. You don't really know dude like that. You ain't got no friendship, none based on nothing. So as soon as it's over, now you want to be friends. It's impossible. So I think a lot of people just miss out on the friendship part <laughs> of everything. That's why they can't co-parent. That's true. And y'all can pick up that book by Iron Real at your local bookstore, Barnes & Noble. <laughs> Man, ain't no damn bookstores open, boy. We on quarantine. Oh, they open down here. Be on Amazon, though. Yeah, Amazon ordered. Uh, let, me, let me try that you promoting on here. Huh? He ain't got no damn book for real. He bullshitting. What? What that book at? Hey, if you got a, if you got a book, Donald Trump really had a university. He did. <laughs> you might want the guy you want to go to, but he did. Okay, so you know, like, okay, my situation. I'm, I'm gonna go a little deeper in, in, into my situation. Like I said, I, I do got my. My my daughter's mother. Get my, my my daughter. Me, and my I'm sorry, my son's mother. So, my I'm son. Hold on. Wait, what's going on now? Because I, I was I was gonna say something else. That that's what I was lining up next. Oh, now okay. I got my oh, son's yeah. mother here, right? So yep. she tells me, you know, like we, we talk and she say, because I have a daughter that I haven't saw in a couple of years. So she tells me. Hey, well, what's going on? Why don't you see your daughter? Right? And she tells me that I need to see her and make that stuff happen. But, you know, like, I, I don't know if my, my daughter or mother think, like, I got some real hatred for her. I, I don't, but, you know, I, I probably would say I got some strong dislike. But I, would re I really am at this point in my life will really be willing to put that all that to the side we don't technically got to be like buddies or no shit mm -hmm. but you know what i'm saying and like you were saying your, your daughter know the 10 years of you is i feel like my daughter is missing out on you know even even if it's like i see her in a, once a month or i'm talking to her on the phone yeah. like i'm i'm missing those type of moments you know what i'm saying like even if i'm just going to take her address and say, oh, I thought this would look good on you or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I still would like to have those moments and I feel like I'm being cheated out of those moments. Yeah. Uh, somebody else tell your story. Go ahead. All uh, because your baby mama can't get along. Yeah. I, but I'm I'm this is what I'm saying right now. Like, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna at, at this point in my life, I don't wanna not be able to get along with nobody. Exactly. Because I'm not, I'm not young, I'm not wild, I'm not rambunctious. You know what I'm saying? I'm a working man, I go to work. I don't want to be known as somebody that, you know, is causing problems or can't get along with people. I don't want to do that. I want to be, I want to be respected and I want to respect people. Well, that's hard because she got to be on that same accord too. Mm -hmm. Your baby mama, she got to, you know, put y'all differences aside too. And if y'all can't come to that then you may just have to communicate with your daughter just alone i mean she's old enough at this point you really don't need the baby mama interfering you know? I, I, I know that I, I know that i don't but in, in a way like i don't want to say like i'm overthinking it but i don't really want to have time for for games like somebody pretending like they got the phone texting me at one in the morning but she sleep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want to have to deal with that type of that type of stuff. Can I say something? We didn't have 
We the list and have Terry, you low. You need to you gotta talk louder. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Uh -uh. Turn your phone. Still low. You got headphones? Get closer. No, Turn your volume up. Okay. Okay, I got a question. When the last time have you seen your daughter? What? She asked when was the last time I seen my yeah, daughter. When the last time oh. have you seen? I don't know. It's I don't know, at least eighteen months or better. That's jacked up. Okay, can I okay. My point of view is this. Maybe she's she married to cause y'all not in a relationship or something, but she shouldn't take that out on that child. We we was never child, in a relationship. You need to see her. Never, so, okay. Never mind that crash day. Okay, maybe she made it too because she do want to be with you or something like that. But she shouldn't have been on that child. Uh, look, even if that, even if that was the case, even if that was the case, at this point in life, you know, you come to the realization that a lot of shit is not going to be what you want it to be, and you you have to move on from that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm not I'm not trying to, you know, be involved sexually with her or nothing like that. That's like I said, like I, I can meet a motherfucker halfway or you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be, I I just would like to come to a conclusion where I figure something out so I can have all five of my children like at arm's reach. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So do you think a conversation can be had? Do you think a third party can intervene? Like, what do you think? You know your baby mama better than we know her. So what do you think would work in order for you to have or to um, pick up their relationship with your baby? You, you know what? Like, j just, just like my boy just said, I actually don't know her. Well, at this point, what do you need to know about her? All you need to know is your was she at, was she at or how to get in contact with her? Well, really, yeah. <clears throat> at this it's point, you want it. At this um, point, like I think, I think that you kind of do. Like, how old is your daughter? She be thirteen. Okay, so thirteen, what? thirteen. Right at this point, I think. Uh, I mean, it's kind of late, but still, like, I think you do kind of need to know her mom in the sense of she the one raising her. So her whole outlook on life is going to be based on whatever her mama taught her, whatever she told her. She done told her your story without you even telling her. So she already got a perception of who you is. And mm -hmm. just for the safety of your daughter, it's like she needs to see some type of interaction between you and her mama. Because when she go out into that world, she into teenage years. When she go out there, she go run into that person and she don't know how to be because she never seen her father show her mother it's just been ill will because we don't know what she's telling her you know what i'm saying she could be feeding her anything about you so this girl got in mind that you ran off and left her you don't care you got these other kids and you're fine with them so when she growing up she got that in her mind you know what I'm saying the disrespect come no because you can try to wait till later years and be in her life but her mama already put that in her head so it's like a conversation you and her mama do need to have so she can understand where you coming from and you can really see what it is. It might not fix it, but you can really understand what it is she holding against you. I mean, 13 years, she got something that she needs to let out to tell you because she wouldn't be holding it in for this long, you know what I'm saying? And and I want to piggyback off what he said. It also has a lot to do with how your baby mama was raised too because whatever happened between me and you or whatever, I've never spoke ill to my son. Because my mama never did that to me, although my mm -hmm. dad wasn't there. So it was just like, you know, we just, that's just something we don't do. So if that is the case where she is speaking ill, you know, you have to look at, that's why it's important to know where a person comes from, to know their family, their background, and their upbringing. Because if she's that type of person, I don't know if she is. I'm just, you know, saying. If she's that type of person, then that's hard to, erase out your baby head that's hard for, you know from her mother telling her anything about you that's not good so you know that's why it's very important to get to know who you lay down with and that's have true. a baby with because she so, could you know you know because guess what bitter bitches raise bitter bitches and we just want to hope and pray that that's not the case 
Yeah. Hey, that's yeah. true because yeah. like yeah. um because like just just for like you know y'all be thinking of... y'all some motherfucking doctors, man. Hey, <laughs> man. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, she right. You know, just to be no, I, I know, I know, I know. Because like some of the women, like in my family, you know a lot of women in my family. Yeah. And we did hey, we, we not blood, but we family, nigga. Right, you we know, know everybody. <laughs> and you know, you know, you see a lot of them didn't have men, right? So they got toxic relationship with men. Imagine exactly. the girls that's gonna come up through that. They gonna think that's okay. Right? What you think, Ken? I agree. And, and they think that's okay. So, like I said, for the first 18 years of your life, you, whoever who raised you, that's who you is. So you got to strip that down and become who you're going to be. And yeah. that'd be the problem. We meet people. Girl, you think you look good. Nigga got a little money. You jump in bed. Boom. We don't even know who these people is. And that's the truth. That's the truth. And all that you can do is not try to do nothing but show your baby different from whatever her mom has told her. If she had... If she told her anything, you just right. have to show different. It ain't no, no, nah, this ain't, you know, you can't, talking don't matter at this point. Actions do. So that can, that can change her mind or, or that can change her, her perspective of how she views her father. If you show her actions because you trying to speak it, you would just be wasting breath because her mama had already planted to see if that's what happened. You right. know, her right. mom already planted to see, so it's, it's, you know, up to you to sway that in a different direction just by your actions. And that's all. And it may take a little minute for her to succumb or come around to, you know, warming up back again. But, you know, it'll work out. You just got to be patient. Somehow you got to block out that negative parent if that's what it is. Right. And, um, shit. Go from but even like, even if she ain't negative, the situation. You know what I'm saying? The, the daughter sent back watching that situation. And she probably think in her mind, like even though you see her sometimes, but she think in her mind, it's okay for a man to jump in and out of my life. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it just it's just I think you really gotta sit down with the mom and figure that out. You know what I'm saying? At least on your end, so you can say I exhausted all options. Yeah. And, and let it go. I'm I'm and right, Ken. I'm gonna do that. I should Ken, my boy Ken a little quiet over there. I, I should reach out, Ken. Yeah, he ain't got his own issues. What's wrong, Ken? <laughs> <laughs> well, like Ken, like y'all hit a soft spot on me. I can't take it. Nah, my, 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 my body a little sore. That's all. I'm good, though. <laughs> yeah, my point is this. You should know your daughter. You should, I can't you hear should her. Also okay, Terry, you finna make my ears hurt. Wait a minute. I can't hear you. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Okay, hold on. My phone is cracking up. Just put the you phone closer to you. That's all. You got to talk louder. Okay, I got it. I, I hate to see y'all. I know I'm loud already. I thought y'all could hear me. My thing is... Loud, your body must be mute. You reach out to your daughter. Huh? Huh? <laughs> can't hear you. Y'all can't hear me? Now. Now we can. Now we can. Oh, y'all want me to speak up loud? Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, everybody. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm just with you. She 13 years old. The, you should you how can I put it? Hmm. Let me see. Get a you should be a big part of her like growing up right now. Get to know her a little bit better than what you do. I don't care if you don't never get along with the mama, but you should try. Try to get along with her. I am I'm, I'm 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 gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure within these next couple of days. I make several attempts, and the people that I know that know her, I'm going to make sure that they know to make attempts to make it happen so that I can see my baby. And, and if it don't work, then what? Right. If, if Hold it, on, say, let me say this. Hold on, Deanna, let me say this. You shouldn't have to go through nobody who know her. You not her Facebook friend or Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, or none of that. Now nah, you you know what I'm a, I'm just gonna make a status and put it on Facebook and tell her to uh, get a contact with me because I know because I know she be watching my page. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know when this topic became about Dion and his issue, but okay. 
Hey, no, no, I, I, I know. Like, I, I just, I just gave my story, and, and yep. you know, what I'm saying, I, I wanted, I wanted the viewers to feel my pain, brother. So, more of the story is, you know, men, women. Before you get to jumping around with somebody, you need to develop that friendship, cause, you know, what I'm saying, people so scared of being in relationships and being married to people, but they make a whole life with somebody, and they barely know on it, and it's a shame that it's going down like that. So. Get to know people, develop friendship, find out who they is, and like uh, Octavia said, find out their history, man. Their history is important for real. And find out their history and make sure she got good credit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, on that note, on that note, YouTube, we want to thank y'all for watching. Y'all, please be sure. To hit that subscribe button, that bell below. We got new videos coming. I want to thank the uh, beautiful Octavia for joining us. I want to thank the beautiful Cherry Berry for joining us, even though her uh, microphone was very low. We're going to have to put on like a 90 day probation there period to see if we're going to bring her back. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> I, I, I want to thank, thank my boy Ken, Ken for coming through again. He's single! Um, <laughs> uh oh. Hey, my boy, hey, real man. Y'all already know where I'm at, West Coast. Thank y'all for watching. Tell them bye, ladies. Tell them bye. Bye. Deuce. Bye. See you later. All day, money, power, respect. Three the hard way.